We're going to talk a minute about stitch files, but we're going to have deeper discussions on this topic later in the program. Stitch files do not contain any object information such as outlines, stitch types, color assignments, pull compensation, auto underlay, tie offs, and any other object type information. Stitch files are only made up of manual stitches and other machine functions such as color changes and trims. In general, stitch files are not suited to be modified except for simple stitch block editing. This is because the stitches cannot be regenerated but only moved or deleted. Wilcom has a stitch processor designed to interpret object outlines such as types of stitches, stitch spacing, which is density, with relative success. It's not perfect, but it goes a long way. The stitch processor makes it possible to open virtually any stitch file and convert the stitches into an object file that can be easily modified, resized, and using object based features such as auto underlay and pull compensation. When the stitches have been processed they will also be recalculated. This is successful with most designs but not with all. While the quality of a processed stitch file is good, it is not as good as a native Wilcom file. We'll open our first stitch file by going to Design Open. Change the files of type to a machine format such as DST. Note that when a machine format such as DST is selected the options box is now available. Select your file and click on Options. The setting should match the design's original settings, not what you desire. It will be set using the values assigned in the machine format feature. Usually these settings will be correct. In the machine type, the selections are based on the stitch file type. In this case, Tajima is displayed because we opened up a DST file. Recognize jumps as trims will determine how many consecutive jumps fires your trimmers. This will normally be set for three. The stop code section will determine how a stop code is converted, whether it's seen as a color change, a stop, or there's custom settings. This will normally be set for color change. Click on the objects and outlines and auto connectors. This way the program will automatically convert the stitch data to outline data. The advanced settings will be discussed in a later session. Click OK to accept the current settings. Then click open to open the file using the current settings. These options will be retained and do not have to be addressed each time a file is opened. I would like you to notice now that the objects have outlines assigned, even though this was originally a stitch file. When we examine the file's design properties, it will report to us that these are imported stitches. If the file had been originally created in Wilcom, this section would report native design. 